In this video, we'll go over how to connect your security cameras to the internet. If you're using coax cameras, you'll need to have a DVR to get the camera online. But if you're using an IP camera, you can access them directly without using a recorder. Alternatively, you can connect your IP cameras to a recorder to view them as a group. To get your DVR online, you'll need a router and ethernet cables. In the case of a recorder, all you'll need to do is connect the router to the network interface card, or NIC for short. If your recorder has two NICs, it's best to put the router on the first NIC. Once connected, you may see a green and yellow light coming from the port to indicate link and power. The recorder should now be on the network. Using the attached mouse and monitor, go to the network settings to check the IP address of the recorder. Setting the unit to DHCP will allow it to grab an available IP address from your router. You may also choose to statically assign an IP address to the recorder. Before setting an IP, it's best to check if the IP is available to avoid any conflicts. Once connected and given an IP, either static or DHCP, the unit will be accessible to other devices on the network, such as IP cameras, computers, and other recorders. If you do not have a mouse and monitor connected to the unit, you'll need to use a computer on the same network with the config tool to find the Elite Recorder's IP address on the network. Using the browser, type in http colon backslash backslash and then the IP address of the recorder. If you have changed the HTTP port, you will need to put a colon followed by the port number to reach the web page of the recorder. To reach the recorder, it is best to use Internet Explorer or IE mode in Edge. Follow these directions to enable and use IE in Edge. First, open Edge. Hit the three dots in the upper right hand corner. Select Settings. Go to the default browser tab on the left hand side. Use the drop down to set. Allow sites to be reloaded in Internet Explorer mode. Then restart the browser. Click the three dots in the upper right hand corner. Select Reload in IE mode. Using the browser, type HTTP colon backslash backslash and add the IP address of the recorder. If you have changed the HTTP port, you will need to put A followed by the port number to reach the web page of the recorder. If you do not have a mouse and monitor connected to the unit, you will need to use a computer on the same network with the config tool for an elite recorder to find their respective IP addresses on the network. Both of these tools are available on our website. In this example, we are using an elite recorder and it is an XVR. Using the config tool, we see the IP is 192.168.10.205. To get an IP camera on the network, the steps are similar to that of the recorder, except there will be no local monitor. You will need a computer and to connect the camera to a PoE switch that is connected to the router. An elite camera will need to be initialized prior to use, which means a password must be set, and it is recommended to input an email for password recovery. You may do so at the camera's webpage or using the config tool. See the video link below on how to initialize an elite camera using the config tool. To reach the camera, type HTTP colon backslash backslash, then the IP address of the camera. Again, it is best to use Internet Explorer or IE mode in Edge.